Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 12th of 2023, well, it is titled Mu Cephei. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a star, an extremely large star. Now, while it looks just like a point of light to us in this image, and we see the distinct diffraction pattern going through this star from the telescope optics, we can actually study it and realize that it is an extremely large star classified as a supergiant. So stars are classified into several major classes. There are the dwarf stars like our own sun. There are the giant stars and then there are the super giant stars. In this case, this is a super giant over a thousand times the size of our own sun. How do we compare that? How do we get a sense of how that compares to our sun? Well, if you put this star where our sun is in the solar system, it would stretch out past Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars and Jupiter. That is how large this star is that if it were in our solar system, all of the inner planets and Jupiter would be inside the star itself. So that gives you a little bit more of a sense perhaps of how large this star actually is. Now, it is also a very red star that means it's much cooler than our sun and it is what we would classify as a red supergiant and this is the type of star that is reaching the end of its life so we're reaching the later phases what is the end of a star's life well the core which was originally all hydrogen has now fused fuses to helium and then that can fuse into carbon and oxygen and it continues up the periodic table toward iron now once the star fuses the core into iron, there is no further energy source possible. And that's because you cannot get energy from fusing iron together. It actually sucks energy out of the star and will cause the core of the star to implode in what we call a core collapse supernova. So the star will then collapse downward and rebound out exploding. Now the question would be when will this happen? So could this happen tomorrow? Could this happen in another couple of years? And that's possible that this could happen over the next few years. But the thing is, we cannot see into the star. So we don't know exactly when that would happen. And that because we cannot see the details as to exactly where it is in those nuclear fusion stages in the interior of the star. So it may explode soon. It may explode a thousand years from now. In fact, it may have already exploded and we just don't know about it yet. That's because the star is nearly 3000 light years away from us. And that means the light that we see from it is not emitted today, but was emitted nearly 3000 years ago. So if it exploded even 2000 years ago, we would still have to wait hundreds and hundreds, nearly a thousand years for that light to get to us here on Earth, just because of the speed that light travels and the immense distances of space. But here we see a star that we will eventually at some point in the future see explode as a supernova. So that was our picture of the day for October 12th of 2023. It was titled Mu Cephei. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.